Food. We make it, we eat it, we need it. As long as humans have roamed the Earth, food has been an essential part of the way we live. As a result, people have long been trying to be more conscious of what they eat to sustain a healthier lifestyle and take better care of the world around us. But as you're going to soon find out, it's not just about what we eat, but what we do with it after. And what we do with it is, well, throw it out. We throw a lot out. In the United States alone, approximately 92 billion pounds of food is wasted every year. A lot of those 92 billion pounds are perfectly edible too. It's also a major contributor to climate change, responsible for 8% of all global emissions. Colleges in the US throw out approximately 22 million pounds of food every year. On an individual level, according to foodprint.org, the average college student generates about 142 pounds of food waste per year, which for UMass is approximately 23,000 undergrads would add up to just under 3,399,000 wasted pounds by students a year. Smith isn't faring much better. A 2022 article from Smith's student-run newspaper interviewed its interim manager of facilities grounds operations, who stated that Smith College produced 20 tons of food waste in March of 2022 alone. That's 480,000 pounds of waste a year. But why in the world does this happen? Is there an obvious solution we're missing here? Or are colleges doomed to be complicit of the cycle of food waste? That's what we're here to find out. Across UMass's 30 retail dining locations and four dining commons, over 50,000 meals are made a day. UMass has been making strides towards sustainability by sourcing food from local farms, as well as the two permaculture gardens on campus, using plates and other dishware instead of trays, and composting appropriate food waste, which they claim diverts 3 million pounds of food waste yearly. Despite efforts to avoid wasting food, UMass dining is not perfect. Most of the time on students' plates, you'll see unfinished food, ranging from just bits and pieces all the way to full meals being set back in the dish room. As a freshman, I would go to my dining hall of choice. I would get as much food as possible. I would not finish it. And once you touch it and it's put on your plate, UMass can't give it away. It's trash or it's compost. I am somebody who whose eyes are kind of bigger than their stomach. I probably tend to not finish all of the food that's on my plate. It happens sometimes, you know, you eat something and all of a sudden you don't feel well or your, your stomach starts to hurt. I, I try to acknowledge it, but it happens. Sometimes food is wasted. As we can see, sometimes students just can't finish food, even if they want to. But UMass has a strict policy about taking food outside of the dining commons. It's really difficult to be able to like have a sustained day with food um, when you can't take it out. I know a lot of students who, it, my, myself included, if I got a bunch of stir fry, I would put the rest of it and take it home. I think that if having, you know, grab and go containers, because I mean, those are compostable, not necessarily the best for the environment, but having that option is vastly better than wasting the hundreds of thousands of pounds of food that we are currently in. While I was working at a UMass dining hall in 2022, I witnessed trays and trays of untouched food being thrown out at the end of the night. But Aaron, it was thrown out into compost bins. Everything is great. Yay, UMass, you solved the food waste problem. Or maybe not. The thing is, is that when you have so much, they're just making too much waste and compost, you need to have a, like almost nearly a perfect ratio for it to work out or it will just become this moldy amalgamation of garbage. But there is a new solution that has been put into place since my time there. They have food that they have prepared and has not been touched by consumers, which are the students. They'll freeze it and they'll send it to the Amherst Survival Center so that they can give it to people who are suffering from homelessness. Now, let's take a look at how food waste is being handled at a smaller, in my opinion, prettier school 20 minutes down the road. At Smith, both the college and its students tout themselves as fierce advocates of sustainability. But when it comes to everyday dining, the way things are being run appears to be anything but sustainable. Getting meals becomes a school-wide affair as hundreds of students clamor to dining halls all at once, only to leave literal tons of food waste behind. The worst part? There's no way of knowing where they'll strike next. No, seriously. 
There is a card swipe system, which dining services can refer to and guess how many students will come based on the day and menu being offered. But many students don't swipe their cards at all, making the system entirely unreliable. I don't think everybody really understands what these swipes are there for, or they don't think of it as a way to help the dining workers. They just think of it as like, I have to swipe because that means I'm gonna eat or not eat. We wanna feed the students and we don't wanna run out of food. It doesn't matter how much you put out, like don't think too much about the count, but people don't tend to think about the consequences of that. Smith has had another greater plan up their sleeve and that plan is called Centralized Dining. Centralized Dining. Centralized Dining. Centralized Dining is Smith's grand plan to cut down on food waste and improve the dining experience for students all over campus. It's defined as a system where one kitchen space is used for food preparation and distribution to multiple nearby dining locations. Smith's current layout is decentralized. Dining halls are spread out across campus and are located within Smith's houses, and the dining halls include kitchens where food for each house is made. However, Smith's transition into centralized dining has been less than graceful. In spring of 2024, Smith announced the closing of the dining hall in Cushing Emerson, located in the Quadrangle, a primarily residential part of campus. Smith justified the decision by claiming that the dining hall was receiving low attendance and its location in the quad didn't help their vision of centralized dining. I'm really upset that they closed the Cushing Emerson dining hall. I just wish that they hadn't closed it. There's only one place for breakfast in the quad and that gets really awful and crowded. The only other dining hall that's open in the quad is open for dinner Sunday through Thursday. And I'm sure it's really stressful for the people that work in King Scales. I'm not for it. But I do think if they are going to switch to centralized dining, vaguely limping along, cutting dining halls and cutting staff is not really the way to do it. It seems like the issue comes down to the college's approach to an otherwise honorable goal. And even when the college has failed to meet it, there's one student-run group that's working behind the scenes and on the ground to truly work against food waste. My name is Maddie Del Vicario. Um, I'm the Experiential Learning Coordinator at the Jandon Center, and I have done some work to support the Food Rescue Network. So what they currently do is they have a board of about five students. They have a volunteer group that can be of like 50 or more students. They call dining halls after dinner every night and they ask if there is food left over that could be give it to people who are food insecure. Food that hasn't been even brought out to students to eat. I am 100% for centralized dining to some capacity. The reason I think it would be amazing is because it would reduce waste. I think it would give students more opportunity to eat when they needed to eat, what they needed to eat, if the dining halls were open all day. There's a lot that Smith could work on with food waste, and clearly there's a lot of voices that all have some amazing ideas about what can be done. Smith as an administration can be doing a lot more. I wonder what they have to say. Oh, that's fine. They're probably busy working on the awesome new teas. Yeah, available now. Go buy to help Smith pay for buildings that aren't dining halls. Food waste will always be a problem, especially in institutions designed for massive amounts of people meeting in single spaces. This problem has solutions. Solutions that, when supported by both students and administration, could go on to make big changes in what we do with what we eat. After all, everyone knows how much we need food, so maybe we should put a little more care into deciding where it goes.